Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you. Firstly, I would like to thank my mentor, Dr. Prashant Pakshi sir, for always motivating and inspiring us to do such kind of innovative things during this prevailing COVID-19 difficult time. So, let's begin. Botanical name of European pear is Pyrus communis and of Asian pear is Pyrus perifolia. Family is Rosaceae, order is Roses, basic chromosome number is 17 and somatic chromosome number is 34. Introduction In India, pear cultivation is mainly confined to the temperate Himalayan mountains which have ideal condition. However, selection and development of low chilling pear cultivars had made its cultivation possible even in subtropical region. Both European and Asian pear were domesticated by hybridization and selection from local wild species in prehistoric time. In India, various English missionaries introduced pear along with other fruits during 1970s and planted in Kullu, Shimla in Himachal Pradesh and in Uttarakhand. Pear is a deciduous tree or shrub, leaves are serrated. Pear is more tolerant to wet soil but less tolerant to drought than apple. Browning of pear is due to polyglectourinase activity. Major acid present in pear is malic acid. Type of inflorescence is corymbose. Most of the pear cultivars require chilling hours of 1200 hours below 7 degrees Celsius. Low chilling pear cultivars require 150 hours below 7 degrees Celsius. Like Pathar Nag, chilling requirement of European pear is 1200 hours to 1500 hours below 7 degree Celsius. Origin and Distribution Probably originated in the mountainous regions of western China, where from it moved both in east and west direction. Vavilov in 1951 proposed three centers of origin for the cultivated pear that are Chinese Center, Central Asiatic Center, Near Eastern Center or Asia Minor. Bell and Hoff in 1986 classified all the primary species into five groups on the basis of geographical distribution. Earlier it was mentioned that there are about 60 species, among them 22 primary species, which are classified into four groups and rest are non primary species. European group, North African group, West Asian group, East Asian group. And the last one is Asian group. Genetic resources of pear. In India, 97 accessions of pear germplasm is being maintained in NBPGR, 56 accessions at Regional Horticulture Station Kotkae, other like RHRS Mashobra and IRI Regional Station Amartara, Shimla, also maintaining the germplasm of some improved types. Blossom biology of pear. Chilling requirement of pear is 1200 hours below 7 degrees Celsius. The flower born from terminal makes bird of short spur appearing before or with the leaves. The spur of a short. Flowers are white or pink in color. Petals suborbicular to broad oblong. Stamen 20 to 30. Anther red to purple. Style is 25 free, closely constricted at the base. Ovule to perlocule. The ovary is epigynous or inferior with a 5 carplate ovary embedded in receptacle tissue containing up to 10 ovules, 2 per carpal, pendulum is thin, 2.5 to 5 cm long, fruit are globules or pyriform, poem with persistent or deciduous calyx. Pear are self-sterile and need more than one variety planted within each orchard in order to cross-pollinate. Honeybee is the main pollinator. Spring frosts are detrimental to pear production and temperature below minus 3.3 degrees Celsius below kill the open blossom or flower. Therefore, lowlands should be avoided for planting. Grout stages in pear. First is dormant. Second is swollen bird. Third is bird breast, fourth is green cluster, fifth is white bird, sixth is bloom, seventh is petal fall, and eighth is fruit set. What is the reason behind classifying these growth stages of pear? As we all know that each growth stage is associated with a particular pest or disease. Like in dormant stage, fire blight, pear sila, 
European red mite pests are more prominent. Like in swollen bird, pear sila, pear midge are more prominent. Like in green cluster stage, pear scab and pear midge are more prominent. Like in white bird, pear scab and pear sila are more prominent. Likewise, petal fall growth stage is associated with pear scab, aphids, pear sila, pear rust mite. In order to manage the infection of diseases or you can say infestation of pest, a spray schedule is recommended by agriculture universities every year to prevent the future loss. Breeding system of pear. Pear cultivars are mainly of three types, self-fruitful, self-unfruitful and finally partially self-fruitful. Self-fruitful cultivars like Bure Hardy, Flemish Beauty, Pathernak don't require pollinizer for fruit set. But the other two groups are cross-pollinated, so they require pollinizer cultivar for fruit set. Breeding objectives of pear. Main breeding objectives of pear are high and regular cropping, excellent fruit quality, winter pear with storage longevity, no grid cell, right or bicolor fruit, fire blight resistance. More detailed aims are different according to the region of breeding, compatibility with quince rootstock, attractiveness of fruit, drought tolerance like in North America, calcium tolerance, minimizing the chilling requirement like in South and North Africa, South America, winter frost tolerance, dwarf growth of tree, no alternate bearing, virus tolerance or resistance. The success of breeding of genetic resistance to disease and pest is strongly dependent on the genetic value of varieties and species used in hybridization. For a high level of resistance in new varieties, a cross combination with resistance variety is necessary. Like in Pyrus caudata, scab resistance and mildew resistance is found. Pyrus navalis, tolerance to pure decline, Pyrus calibrina, fire blight resistance, Pyrus Breeding of pear using wild species is very problematic because of its extremely bad fruit quality and smaller fruit size. Four to five bear crosses are needed to evolve a type with acceptable fruit quality. Most of the pear varieties are susceptible to various viral, bacterial, and fungal diseases. Virus infected trees grow very slowly and the crop is smaller. Fruit quality, especially because of grid cell formation and the compatibility. Between grafted varieties and rootstock is disturbed. Dangerous fungus diseases affecting pear are scab and mildew. It is therefore impossible to obtain the fruit quality without plant protection measures. Resistant varieties help to solve many plant protection problems, specifically with regard to the organic fruit growing. Therefore, the resistance breeding against fungi and bacteria is one of the most important part of pear breeding in future. Biotechnology, there are two methods, in vitro culture and the second one is molecular breeding. Selection steps of vegetative propagated rootstock are seeding plants includes morphology, phenology, rooting, resistance, mother plants and stool bed, propagation ability, resistance, morphology, test for alternative propagation method, nursery test in combination with varieties, compatibility, Growing capacity, resistance, field test in combination with varieties. New rootstocks that we are using internationally for intensive plantation, dwarfing vegetative rootstocks are used in USA. The old home and farming dale was selected. There is not much enough dwarfing, but it is very important to have resistance against the fire blight, pear decline, and calcium chlorosis. The Perry pears from France possess medium growing capacity, pyrodrop from Germany, and some old home rootstocks from France. Eight types of pear early flowering and regular bearing, dwarf and compact plant for HDP planting, plant resistance to spring frost, resistance to major diseases and pests, self fruitful, are fruit set less dependent on pollinizer, fruit have longer shelf life. Problems in breeding up pear. It is normally a cross pollinated crop, hence, highly heterozygous in nature, long juvenile phase, excessive fruit drop, susceptible to different biotic and abiotic stress. 
in dwarfing rootstock narrow genetic base for dwarfing character within the genus Pyrus. Approaches for crop improvement of pear Introduction Important and popular cultivars such as Bartlett and Joy Kiefer are the only introduction from Europe. Clonal section are recommended for commercial cultivation. Hybridization The series of old home and farming date rootstock has been developed by successful rootstock breeding program. These are the intergeneric sterile hybrid of pear, mule, pyrona, camdesa. Polyploidy Generally, pear is deployed in nature, but sometimes triploid, tetraploid, and exoploid cultivars are also found in nature. These polyploid cultivars are more vigorous and produce larger size fruits as compared to the normal diploid one. Mutation Spontaneous mutation has given red color cultivar Stockhamson from Clap's favorite and Red Enjoy from Enjoy. Rootstock breeding to combine specific traits like higher yield, improved fruit quality, resistance to different biotic and abiotic factors, along with crop compatibility, is going on in different prayer breeding stations around the world. At last, once again, thank you so much, sir. Stay home, stay safe.